Game 5 matchup in the Eastern Conference Finals. It'll be the Miami Heat facing off against the Atlanta Hawks and their shake and bake 6 5 combo guard, Jamal Crawford, here on 2K Sports. And there, a bit earlier, the Heat getting mentally and physically ready. With Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan for the playoffs in Game 5. Currently, the series at 3-1, so a spot in the finals can be had tonight. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Eastern Conference Finals action here on 2K Sports. It's the Miami Heat taking on the Atlanta Hawks. You look at the Atlanta Hawks. Right now, trailing three games to one. It's a must-win as they look to stretch their way back into the series. Clearly a must-win situation here, but you can't get ahead of yourself. They know they have to win three games in a row to win the series, but that can't happen if they don't get this one. It's right in front of them, and that's where all their energy and focus has to be on this game. So the opening lineup for the Heat, LeBron and Bosch with a three and the four. D-Wade out there with Mike Miller and Ilgauskas. And for the Hawks, Johnson, Smith, and Horford are their front court. Crawford out there with Teague. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Bosch against Smith. Here's Crawford. And it's Miller picking him up. Back to Smith. And laid up and in. Boy, I tell you what, it's always a good feeling to get the first points of the game. I don't care who you are. Right now we're going to go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Eric Spolstra. What would you find out, Doris? What he stressed to his team in the locker room was that they can't go into this game thinking they've got room for error just because they'll have another chance to close it out in their building should they lose. He said that would be the worst possible mindset for us, something he doesn't want to see, guys. Thanks again, Doris. Here's T, following the basket by Chris Bosch. Johnson, good! He's just so gifted offensively. He's a tough guy to match up with. On defense, the Hawks, they're coming off a great victory on Wednesday. I think they kept the opposition really off balance for most of the game. They prevented any kind of rhythm or, or real flow from developing and forced a lot of turnovers in the process. Here's Crawford. Covered by Miller. Crawford kicks to Johnson. Again, the Hawks score. So far, they've made all of their shots to start this game. A perfect three for three. And Miami has possession. It's Miller on the way. And he lays that one up and in. Miller's got his second bucket of the night. No one really contesting him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. Crawford dishes to Johnson. Back to Crawford. Smith outside. Horford with a screen on Bosch. Smith's shot is good. So far, I don't think you can ask for a better start to the game for them. Four for four thus far. Here's LeBron. He's guarded by Johnson. James connects from in close. LeBron's now got his first basket of the night. Atlanta with the ball. Horford with it. Working on Ilgauskas. Horford the pass to Teague. A three. Another three for Atlanta. He drew the D in and then kicked it out to the open man. The Heat trail by four. Miller inside. Guarded by Crawford. Ilgoskis. Good. Here's Teague. 2.04 left in the first quarter. Wade picks him up. Now Teague. Deflects the pass. The Hawks are making a switch on the floor. Crawford's checked in. The Heat also changing it up. Howard's checked in. And it's Chalmers in for Dwayne Wade. 
Here's Teague. Five on the clock. And here is Horford from deep. Rebounded by Howard. And Miller backs down. And another basket for Miami. Right now, he's just too good, Kevin. Way too good. They need to bring a second defender and try to make him give up the ball. Smith outside. Working on Bosch. With the fadeaway. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got his third basket of the night right there. I'm not a big fan of the fadeaway in that situation. But he drained it. Nice shot. Here's LeBron. Free throw, no good. Both teams deciding to change it up. And he sinks the second. Here's Crawford. No points for him. Evans outside. Smith against Haslam. Nice shot by Smith. Here's LeBron. 37 seconds left in the first. Here's Ogoskis. Takes it up. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. This is a beautiful delivery with the bounce pass. He kept it away from the defense, which set up the shot perfectly. Here's Crawford. A foul called, and he earns a trip to the line. Not a bad foul there, Kevin. You don't want him to get the easy layup. First person. Shooting for a play. Jamal Crawford. Two shots. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Chalmers. 21 seconds left in the first quarter. Ron right side. Stolen. The team doesn't need that mistake. You got to be efficient. First quarter over, and big numbers up on the board. Hawks lead by six. Well, Kevin, they've been filling it up from long range. Those three-pointers add up quickly. The NBA, here on 2K Sports. 21, the Heat, 15. And off we go, a close game now entering the second quarter. Here's Wade, still looking to get on the scoreboard. So with Smith sitting on the bench, here's the group that Larry Drew has on the floor. We've got Maurice Evans, Harvey Williams is out there with Petrulia, and there's Teague and Crawford. The Hawks leading by six. Now Teague. Back to Evans. 
The tray kept alive. The second chance effort. It's blocked. And here we go with Dwayne Wayne. Wade left side over Williams. Another miss by Wade. And so here is Atlanta. Six point game. Here's Teague. Wade picks him up. On the line. Atlanta again missing. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. Here's Stackhouse. Hits the tray. Here's Teague. Under four minutes left in the second. Wade picks him up. Here's Teague. Wade is covering. Here's Pachulia. Sticks it from 17 feet. Well, that's a little bit of the European style of play there. When your bigs can hit the mid-range jumper, it can really open things up for everybody else. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Atlanta making some changes. Al Horford is checked in for Pachulia. Smith comes in for Maurice Evans. And it's Johnson in for Jeff T. And the Heat making a change here. Here's Haslam. Pass to LeBron. Here's Wade. And yep, that falls, and the foul is called. We'll see him shoot one from the free throw line. Good for the three point play. Here's Crawford. Just over three minutes left in the half. To the wing. Smith. Haslam on him. Smith kicks to Crawford. Wade is covering. Four on the clock. Smith. He's guarded by Haslam. With one second left. Scooped up. Two on the clock. Horford's shot is good. Horford's got his first two points of the night. Nice. Big momentum builders, those second chance points. Now here's Wade. Great anticipation. Got a piece of it. He should leave those long bomb passes alone. Now Smith defending. Back to Wade. The lob was a little misjudged and he couldn't get control of it. Smith outside, covered by Stackhouse. Releases from 15. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got 10. He's really one of the big reasons why they have the lead now. He's playing an extremely efficient game. It's fun to watch. Backing down is LeBron, doubled by Crawford. Wade for three. Stayed with it and tipped it in. They close the gap to four. Just hustle points right there. He got into great position and made the most of the second chance. Clark, he's showing us those soft hands. Well, he earned that opportunity. Now here's Johnson. He's got five. Johnson left side. He's against Miller. Five on the clock. Johnson can't get it to go. And here's Miami. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Williams picks him up. Another miss by Wade. He's had some problems finding the range here in this court. Crawford with the ball. Gets it to rattle in. Kevin, they haven't attempted as many threes here in the second, and I think they're trying to get the ball inside more. LeBron dishes to Wade. That's to Miller. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Miller's got eight. Oh, what a great look to get it inside. That's the way to find him when he's ready to score. 
Smith with a screen on Wade. Off the pick. Smith with the basket on the assist by Crawford. He's got 12. The defender couldn't get around the pick, and his help didn't show up in time. Nice play for the layup right there. And here's LeBron outside. Rebound by Smith. The Hawks leading by six. They'd be smart to hold it now for the last shot. Smith with a screen on Miller. Here's Johnson. Again, the Hawks score. This is what happens when the defense lags. Long guy to give an opening to. And the first half is now in the books. Smith playing very well. 12 points and one rebound. He played quite a half of basketball there. Hawks ahead, leading by eight. Conference finals keep on rolling. Now for a halftime breakdown presented by HP. For the Atlanta Hawks, they have the lead against Miami. They've already forced game five in a must-win situation. They'll have to do it again to force game six. Josh Smith on cruise control against Miami. He continues to stand out. His head coach is thrilled with the way he's been playing lately. And midway through, the Heat are still alive. Defensive rebounding, a big problem right now. They just can't control their own backboard. A difficult first half for Dwayne Wade. It hasn't been pretty. He's only got one make from the field. And it's time now to head back for the rest of the game out in Atlanta. See you next halftime. The second half just about to get underway. Here's Wade. Here's who Eric Spolster is starting the second half with. Chris Bosh and Ilgowskis in the middle. There with Mike Miller and LeBron. Ilgowskis up top. It bounces out of bounds after the shot. Here's Teague. Eight-point game. away the heat trail by eight pass to Miller and here's Wade LeBron James on the wing it's dumped off and it's Ilgowskis missing they're showing a slight advantage on the boards in this one to this point Kevin Smith with a screen on Wade Blocked. And Miami has possession. Trailing here by eight. Crawford against LeBron. Let's loose for three. Miami no good on that time either. Boy, they appear to be a little tight after halftime. Now Johnson. He's got seven. Connects from the high post. Johnson's got nine points. Well, he's lighting it up, and that surprises no one. This guy is just a dynamite score. Timeout called the Heat. Here's Miller. Eight points for him. Now here's James. Easy shot. Hanks it home. LeBron's now got his second basket of the night. Well, that's a start. They get one to go down finally, but now they need to build on it to keep the momentum going. Here's Smith. And he drops it in on the way. And the Hawks lead by ten. You can't let guys get so close to the hoop like that. You got to bump them and chump them a little bit as they come through the paint. Make them feel you. And again, LeBron missing. He's not giving an inch on defense. He really bothered that shot. Here's Teague. Oh, 
covered by Miller. Just four to shoot. There's Crawford with the three. No good. And Miami will go the other way with the ball. Here's Miller. Hits the quick shot. Miller's got 10. Here's Teague. 217 left in the third quarter. Johnson against LeBron. Here's Smith, and he makes the basket. So one free throw coming up as he'll try to make it a three-point play. Smith playing very well. He's got 16 points, and he's pulling down some big rebounds, too. He's simply taking over this game. Pachulia, he's checked in for Atlanta. And then for Miami, Jerry Stackhouse has checked in for Miller. And it's Chalmers in for Dwayne Wade. And no problem at the line here for the three-point play. Here's Chalmers looking for his first bucket of the game. Here's Stackhouse over Crawford. Stackhouse, good. And they make it a single-digit game. Here's Teague. 142 left in the third. Now Pachula. And there's the one-handed jam. His explosive leaping ability allows him to throw it down on defenders with reckless abandon. Absolutely, Clark. I don't think there's any question that he's one of the premier athletes in the league right now. That was a great replay on the Sprite Slam Camp. Here's Chalmers after the basket by Atlanta. Now Stackhouse. Five points in the game get back into this game, Kevin, they need to really concentrate on limiting the turnovers. I mean, it hasn't been terrible for them, but it's still hurting their call. Crawford with the ball. Covered by Stackhouse. Goes up, and he gets the bucket. Foul is called. One free throw for him. Al Horford. He's checked in for Pachulia. And then for Miami. Miller's checked in. Nice job at the line, and that one falls to pick up the end one. Here's Chalmers. No points for him. Miller outside. Augustus backing down. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. You've got to close out on that mid-range jump shot. Pass to Horford. Working on Augustus. Ilkowskis against Horford. Nails it from close range. Horford's got his second basket of the night. And Miami has possession. It's a 14-point game. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Ilkowskis backing down. Guarded by Horford. Takes it up. And it's Bosch that time on the assist by Ilkowskis. Bosch has got his second basket of the game. Here's Teague. Johnson outside. Covered by Miller with one on the clock in Atlanta again with the bucket. No question that they've been the better offensive team so far. The execution has been flawed. Buzzer sounds in a double-digit game as we end the third quarter. You look at Josh Smith in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Yeah, not flashy numbers, but his presence has definitely been felt out there. It's the little things, Kevin. He's getting them done. It's more NBA coming your way. As the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Hawks that garners the Sprite Spark today. Their commitment to stifling defense has been a focal point as they continue to build on this lead, guys. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Ah! 
Here's Teague. Here's the group that Larry Drew has on the floor. They've got Horford. Johnson is out there with Josh Powell. And there's Teague and Crawford. So it's Miami now. Trailing by 17. Wade outside. LeBron James on the wing. With the smooth finger roll. LeBron's now got his third bucket of the night. Here's T. Crawford up top. Crawford with the ball. Four on the shot clock. Three on the clock. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Crawford. And the Hawks lead by 17. Played outside. To the inside. LeBron got a piece of it. Here's Posh. Again, the Heat is good for two. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team it. That's your only hope. And so here is Atlanta. Here's Johnson. Off from three-point land. And here we go with Dwayne Wayne. Here's Stackhouse. Up high in town hall. Uh-oh. A little bit of a statement made there while he hung on the rim. That's one way to make sure the whole building knows exactly what you just did. Here's Crawford. About three and a half minutes left to the fourth. Horford in the post, working on Bosch. And the basket by Horford. Nice bucket there. He isn't naturally quick, but he's deceptive. He kept the defense off balance and then took it to the rack. And the Heat call time here. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, over that last break, I listened to Eric Spolstra address his team. He was clearly fuming. He told them, you guys look like you're sleepwalking out there. He said, I don't know if you rolled out on the wrong side of the bed this morning or what, but we've got to step up and wake up. Guys? So both teams making some changes here. Here's Ilgauskas. Bibby, guarded by Crawford. LeBron. Back to Bibby. Takes a three. Kept alive. Another shot. Wade gets the bucket. Wade's got his second basket of the night. You have to block this guy out, Kevin. He's just too active on the boards to be left alone. Johnson up top, defended by Chalmers. Fades away in Atlanta again with the bucket. He's got a sky-high field goal percentage, and that's because he's been working to get good look. Here's Wade. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Wade's got his third basket of the night. Here's Atlanta. 13-point lead. Backing him down is Johnson. Fades back. Connects. And the Hawks lead by 15. Here's Bibby. 2.03 left in the game. The timeout called the Heat. They're down by 15. 2.01 left in the fourth. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Bosch. And here is Chalmers. And again, it's the Heat missing. Now Crawford. Evans outside. He dumps it off. Collins acts in. He dishes it. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. Here's Chalmers. Rips down the breakaway slam. Here's Evans. 131 left in the game. Randolph backs in. Covered by Miller. Here's Evans. 
It's hauled in by LeBron. Not a lot of time left in this one for the Heat. It's a 13-point game. Wade passes to James. It's blocked. That's really not the kind of performance that his team needs from him here in this quarter. Here's Crawford. Randolph covered by Miller. Crawford with the ball. Five to shoot. Defended by Chalmers. Crawford's shot is good. With this double-digit margin, very little can be done to make this a contest now. And here is Chalmers. Evans outside. Off the mark with the three ball. And Miami has possession. Down by 15. Here's LeBron. The emphatic champ. He has almost supernatural bouncing ability. He can bounce right out of the building. <laughs> Only a handful of players have that kind of athleticism, Clark. Nice shot by Randall. For the fork in him, Kevin. This one's over. Miller outside. That's good, and so Chalmers with the assist. They needed this run soon. I don't think they have enough time left to stage a comeback now. Here's Williams. Answers right back with a three of his own. And the Hawks lead by 15. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. They put on a show tonight thoroughly controlling each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you ask? And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg and Doris Burke to the whole crew from 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Now let's take a look at the Jordan Brand Player of the Game.